The aftermath of a hit and run crash at a Lompoc business. News Channel 3's Amanda Valdez joins us live from the Garcia Dance Studio where it happened. And Amanda, police are looking for that driver tonight. That's why police are looking for that driver. Just behind me, there's a class that's going on right now. Instructors tell us that a car rammed into the front windows of that studio. And once all the glass was cleaned up, they decided to keep things as normal as possible for their students. When I first got here, there was glass everywhere, all over, all over the floor, and um, the boards were just all messed up, and it just looked like a really big mess. A cleanup crew removed the glass where the front windows of the Garcia Dance Studio used to be. I just heard that there was a blue car that ran into the window and then took off. Caution tape and orange cones surround the front of the studio. Witnesses say a car drove right through the windows of the building, and after the crash, the driver didn't stick around. It was upsetting to see that somebody ran into the studio and drove away and didn't do the right thing. Instructors say the accident happened around 10 in the morning and no one was inside. I was shocked and I was just happy that no classes were going on and no one was hurt. They say the studio is usually closed on Monday mornings and they open up in the evening for classes. Just wanted to offer my support and help clean up the studio and make sure everything was okay before the kids came. By the afternoon, crews had helped to clean up the mess and board up the windows. We have a glass company coming and they took measurements um, so that they can board it all up and so we can get new glass and continue to teach. Instructors say they plan to keep their routines as normal and keep their students dancing. We start off the day with younger kids from ages five, young, as young as five, and we end the day with uh, older adults, and they all look forward to coming each week. And instructors tell us these windows will stay boarded up until they're able to replace them with new glass ones. And they tell us that, that the classes will remain the nor as normal for the rest of the week. In Lompoc, I'm Amanda Valdez, News Channel 3. Okay, thank you, Amanda. A